Hell yeah, guys, what's up? I'm Sonny, creator of Soundrise Stands. So what I have here is basically my next product, the Soundrise Big Five. And just like my first product, the Soundrise Pro 9, started off just like this, cardboard and scotch tape, and then a prototype, and then like a small production run. So I thought I'd bring you guys with me on the entire process of how I come up with a speaker stand from concept to prototype to production run. So basically, I took this to my friend Jeff at the sheet metal shop and um, he made the first prototype. And we sat down and we shared notes on what to do. Things like what kind of shape this back tab will be in, how that affects this little cutout area right here. And in fact, I uh, brought my iPhone in and kind of just placed it on the side while we had a conversation. So you guys can eavesdrop on the process. So that's gonna go up, you want two inches or about an inch and three quarters? Inch and three quarters is good. Whatever I do there, I have to cut into cut here. Cut it there, yeah. So. so if it's going up at the top well, here, that means it's getting cut down here in a funny way? Well, I can cut it down like this and make this go straight. But then that's make this wall a little bit thinner. Thinner and less support. All right, screw it. Maybe let's keep it straight like a rectangle or whatever that is. Two and a half. I have to have those relief in there. That's what that is. At first, we're all pretty much clueless on what it is exactly what we want, but with each prototype, we get closer and closer. So then I took the metal prototype that Jeff made for me, and I took it somewhere else to test out some heavy amps on top. Things that are like much larger than a largest speaker would be, just to see the how far I could push it before it starts to fall or slide off. And um, here's some of those tests. There's more of a forward angle in this one. And this one, we're doing a 90 degree angle going straight up. And it seems like this one is more stable than the one that's like the Pro 5 going forward a little bit. Here it is again. Let's test it out. It just wants to just slide when I bump it, instead of that violent coming off motion. I think we're definitely gonna go with the straight back because of this. The result was it's a really stable design and the best version is the flat back. And no matter how much I pushed and pulled that thing, at most it would just slide, but not fall off which was a really good sign. And then what I did is I took two samples that Jeff gave me and took them to Cali Audio. Cali is right now making the best bang for your buck speakers. And uh, they were nice enough to put out the LP8 and the IN8 speakers for me to test out on our big five stands. Those are their biggest speakers and it's a perfect test for our biggest stand now. Tweeters of the IN8 and LP8 are just about aligned with my ears. It's 20 pounds, and this one's 23 pounds. I'm about to position the iron eight. And I love how these stands just make them look like small speakers, even though these are massive. 17 inches tall, 16 and a half inches tall, and they're both 10 inches wide. You know, 23 pounds, 20 pounds, but they look like tiny speakers on these stands. So, uh, so far I love the proportions and there's barely any wobble after it settles down into place. That wobble's gone. So the final detail that I wanted to take care of is put the S logo cutout back on the bottom. And um, here's how I transferred it to the stand so that Jeff at the metal shop could see exactly where to put it. So I made a printout of all the different sizes and I think this one ends up looking the best. I'm just gonna fill in the back with a bunch of lead here. And then I'm just going to trace it. That should be a good reference for our engineer. All right, guys. So in conclusion, if you have some entrepreneurial spirit in you and want to actually put a product out that's made of aluminum or steel, and you can really do a short production run, you don't have to really go in deep and have thousands of them. Just do what I did from cardboard to prototype. Google sheet metal fabricator near me and you'll see some results. Contact them, take them a cutout of something you made and ask them what it would cost to make one prototype. 
and then ask them for a quote on 25 pieces, 50 pieces. I'm gonna make 50 pairs of these, okay? I'm gonna order 100 pieces. And if we sell out and there's uh, enough need, obviously I'll order more. But it's a really good way to uh, test the market. And the idea for the Big Five actually came from customers. They wanted something that was as tall as the Pro 5, but hold speakers bigger than what the Pro 9 can. It's our biggest stand yet. And I really think it'll find a place in people's homes, not only on their desks for their large speakers, and maybe even on the floor with rubber pads on the bottom to protect any sensitive uh, wooden floors. Hell yeah, so if you guys dig this kind of content, I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but thanks for watching, rise up.